Well, a new report is out on lung cancer with some startling information and also some encouraging news. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta here now with more on the report and what Indiana needs to do to uh, kind of improve, right? That's right, Gary, very good. The 2023 State of Lung Cancer Report reveals the lung cancer screening rate is too low in Indiana and dropping. The American Lung Association says Indiana ranks 24th out of 51 in the nation for lung cancer screenings. Indiana has just over a 5% rate for lung cancer screenings, where the national average is 4.5%. Annual lung cancer screenings for those at high risk can reduce the lung cancer death rate by up to 20%. In 2022, Indiana ranked 20th for lung cancer screening rates. The American Lung Association says state legislators should look at increasing our state's cigarette tax and stronger policies regarding radon to help lower the number of lung cancer cases. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer in our state. Um, we don't have the best radon regulation, you know, um, we passed some legislation in, in, in recent memory where it kind of um, mandated that schools post information that radon is something that's bad, but it didn't require testing or mitigation. We also don't have any of those real estate disclosures where if you buy a house, it has to be tested for radon, um, letting you know what you're getting into before you actually purchase the home. The American Lung Association says screenings are recommended for individuals between the age of 55 and 80 who have smoked a pack a day for 30 years or two packs a day for 15 years and have quit less than 15 years in the past or are still smoking. The new Franciscan Health Hospital under construction in Crown Point getting a big boost for its new cancer center. The Dean and Barbara White Family Foundation donating $30 million to create a new cancer center named after the Whites. Indiana University is taking a high-tech approach to help families deal with a loved one's memory loss. When she felt like her memory was was not not very very good anymore, and she was she would become reclusive and stay home a lot more and not be social. The IU School of Medicine getting nearly seven hundred thousand dollars from the National Institute on Aging to help caregivers like Diane and Nancy who lost their mother to Alzheimer's back in 2010. IU researchers will use the money to see if virtual health care programs can supplement care for dementia patients and their caregivers. All right, Kylie, I know you moderated an important panel on Alzheimer's recently, and IU really is a national leader. A national yeah. powerhouse. In yeah. fact, an IU School of Medicine ranked fourth in Alzheimer's research funding on a national level. That's from the National Institutes on Aging, and that was just in 2021, some of the latest stats available. Mm -hmm. But it's not just academic leadership here in Indiana and Alzheimer's. Lily, mm -hmm. uh, it is expecting an FDA decision on Deninimab, which is uh, its Alzheimer's mm -hmm. drug in the pipeline, and that's expected by quarter one of next year. So Indiana really is leading the way in Alzheimer's in the yep. state, in the, in the nation. Yep, good stuff. Thanks, Kylie.